Hey there, my name is Glenn, and I am here to show you how to cut a hole into your cigar box in order to fit your neck through to make a cigar box guitar. Let's do this. All right, well, the tools for this step in the project are really pretty simple. All you're gonna need is something to measure with, something to write with, something to saw with, in this case, a coping saw, and I like to use blue painter's tape. Now, with that being said, I wanna have a piece of painter's tape on either end here and mark those for the cutout where the neck will run through. So, tape it up as quickly as I can so as not to bore you to death. All right, Alakazam one side and the other. The next step is going to involve me taking my measuring device and finding the middle of this side of the box. So this box measures to be just a shade over seven and one sixteenth inch uh, in this direction. So I just want to make it about three and just a, just over three and so three and a half inches, just a shade over. And just to double check to see if I have the dead center of the box, oops, which I do. And I'm going to perform the same action on the other side, find the center of the box. After I learn how to use my own de device, Yep, one more time, Glenn. All right, there we go. And then the next thing I wanna do is I wanna measure out the notch where, I, where I'm gonna cut for the neck. And as we know, this piece of wood is one and a half inches in this direction, three quarters of an inch in this direction. So I'm gonna measure out three quarters of an inch on either side of the center point on this box as that would be an inch and a half in total. So three quarters of an inch on either side. And then I'm going to measure down three quarters of an inch. And I can square that up in just a moment. Shadows in this video are going to be a bear. We're going to have to talk to production on this. So I'll be notching this out to fit the neck through, but I'm going to do the same on this side. So three quarters of an inch on either side of that center point, three quarters of an inch down, and then I'm just going to connect the dots, baby. And I'm gonna notch this out. It would be great if I had a, uh, a saber saw or a jigsaw, which I do. But to show you that you really don't even need that expensive power tool, easily done with a coping saw. Now I wanna to cut to the inside. Whoa. All right then, let's try that again. I wanna to cut to the inside of these lines. I don't wanna to cut to the outside. The reason being, it's kind of like cutting hair. I can only, you know, after I take it off, I can't put it back on. So I want to cut to the inside of the lines and I can use a file or a piece of sandpaper to kind of finish out the hole for a nice snug fit on the neck. Now that I've cut off, the, uh, cut down the edges, I'll just take the rest out with my file. All right, let's go in for a fit. Excellent. Not too tight, not too loose. Maybe a little deep, I'm not gonna lie to you, but that's a-okay. All right, well, there you have it. Your box notched out on either end to fit your neck through for your cigar box guitar. And in the next video, what I'll do is I'll take you through the next step for me, which will be notching out this section of the neck so that your lid will lay flat on the box. But until then, thanks for watching. Leave a question below or a comment if you have it, and I'll talk to you later. See ya.